So we talked about how to log in into the SAP system in the last lesson. Yeah. <coughs> and also after login, what happens? Those are the things we discussed, right? So let me brush up quickly, right? So I have a notebook or desktop at home, right? To connect to a SAP system, as of now, we learned that we have to install a program called SAP GUI. And then after installing, it will, uh, we have to give some information about the server. Server is here. In another location. It's not in our, our same network. If it is in the same network, we don't have to worry about the SAP router string. Now we have to worry because we have to first go there. So in order to, to go there, we have to first give the SAP router string. That is the public IP, IP address converted to a DNS number. Right? But when you go to that particular place, it is going to go to the SAP router first. So when it goes to the SAP router, it has to go and reach the correct SAP, SAP system. So we have to give the SID. And we have to log in through a particular instance. We may have multiple instances. The SAP uh, users are allowed to log in through certain instances by default. So they don't know that they can log in through any instance, right? So it is set up in such a way in the SAP GUI, right? So they have an option to log in through some uh, instances. If one instance is busy, it will fail over. It will fall over to another instance. They can log in through the other instance, right? Oh, so it's a login case, entry, case, actually, entry point. For example, in case if we entered a zero zero, so for example, yeah, if it's busy, it will move to another instance. Provided the person is uh, the log on groups and. Uh, that is set up. Okay. I can set up in such a way, okay. right? Okay. And and then say that if this is busy, they can log in through the other one. Okay. So that instance number I should give, right? Then also I should give the host name because there are different hosts for TCP IP to identify the host, host name or IP address. So local IP address. Once this information is given. I will be connected to the server. So when it is connected, when I connect to the server, it will ask me some questions. What are the questions it is going to ask me? 